Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to finish up looking at the pawn structures and stuff. Uh, not the pawn structures, but other pawn scenarios that I might have missed yesterday. And I'm just going to put it through. Just one second. Just double check that it's working. That's fine. Okay, in this instance, I missed the uh, backward pawn. So this one here is the backward pawn, which means that later in the game, there's no pawn that will defend it here. So the structure here, so this aisle here, is a weakness. And this pawn will be definitely weak. It'll be strength for the rook at the moment, so that's all right. But say if the bishop end up, if the white, if there was a white squared bishop, could target that, and you could definitely put pressure on that square. Okay, next one. This is on passant. Some of you might not know about on passant at all. But what happens is, there's a rule in chess where you can't avoid to be taken. So if someone does that, you can take the piece. Alright, so you can check that up as well. Some people might not believe, but yeah, when you first start playing chess, you don't might not know that rule. Alright, next one. The castling rule. So what happens is here, you've got the castling here. They call that short castle, so that's on the short castle side. And they say this is the long castle because this is the queen side. So the queen side is the long castle. And for instance, there's a rule as well. Normally, if the rook's here, uh, the bishop is here, attacking this square, these two cannot castle. You can't avoid check. But in this instance here, you can still castle. There's been a bit of debate in the past about it. There's actually a Grandmaster Championship where there was actually a dispute about it. But you can look it up. Okay, uh, next scenario. Okay, this scenario here, when we've started doing the right things and protecting our kings, so we have these three, we don't disrupt the pawns. Later on, we have a, we have a threat. If you can see the threat, it is Black's turn. At this stage, if black takes the white piece, he has, won, he has lost the game. And all of a sudden, checkmate. They were, that's what they call a back row checkmate. Okay, it gets pretty common. So when, when we first start out, and we start controlling these, we don't move these squares, we can run into trouble. And this is the other type of trouble. Okay, and the next scenario, this is just something, but this is a bonus material. Uh, this is what, it's White's turn. What do you think? We know this is going to be checkmate if he, if he gets there, or even if he gets there. But White's got to move. He's got a certain, he's got a certain procedure to do now, which can lead to checkmate. I'll let you to have a, you can pause the video for a minute and have a look and try and work it out. Alright, okay, now I'm going to talk about it. So first move is, this is check. Okay, now black has to move here. Now this one's a really sneaky move. And he moves, and he moves here. So that's a double check. Double check is one of the most powerful, is so powerful because it means that when you double check, the king has to move. There's no way you can block the check. So even if you do this, it doesn't work because you've still got the check here. Okay. Also, just another side note, with the knight, the knight is the only piece that can check the king that has to move. The, has to move the king. The king has to move. Unless, of course, you can take. Alright. So, for instance, if it was here, the king would have to move. Yeah, without the queen there, the king would have to move, okay? Alright, we'll go back to the scenario. Alright, so this is it. Check. Gets out. Double check. So if he moves here, instant checkmate. It's instant checkmate anyway, but if he goes this way, then this is even better. You go down here, and this is check. King comes in, and then it's smothered, mate. Alright, I'll leave you with that, and thanks for enjoying the show, and I'll record a video very soon with the game. Thanks guys, bye.